I will call this meeting to order at six o'clock on Wednesday, May 25th uh, for the viewing public. This is um, going to be a short meeting uh, and we will be going to executive session at some point uh, and not to return. So just to give the, the many people here in the Zoom that are from the public um, that, that heads up. Um, <clears throat> first order of business, uh, meeting minutes. May 11, 2022 review, vote and approve. Anybody have any comments? Move to approve the minutes. I'll second that. All those in favor? Fred? Aye. Joyce? Aye. Me, yes. All right. Um, <clears throat> I signed vendor and payroll warrants yesterday. Um, did anyone have a reason for me not to sign those? No. Okay, good. Um, public comment, anyone in the general public uh, that would like to comment on anything that is not on the agenda? No, okay, great. Um, there are no COVID-19 updates. I hope we're all staying safe and healthy uh, and avoiding the renewed surge. Um, <clears throat> Next thing on the agenda is old business. Um, one stop for growth. H Hannah, do you want to walk us through that really fast, please? Yeah, absolutely. So we're submitting two applications to one stop for growth with your permission this year. Um, one of them is exit 35. It's almost exactly the same as the application we submitted last year, except that I incorporated a little bit of feedback that FERCOG gave us about how to um, make the answers a little bit more specific. Um, and then the other application is for the Egypt Road water main loop um, completion. Um, we're doing all of the design and engineering so that we'll have a shovel ready project for the next grant application round. Um, those applications are due on June 3rd. So if possible, a vote tonight would be perfect to keep those moving forward. Any comments or questions for Hannah? None from me. I thought if you've uh, addressed the feedback we got, then I think we should get those get those in and get cracking on the next one is, is that a motion joyce hmm? is that a motion to give her panel i you would i would move uh, that we uh, send out those applications Second. all those in favor joyce aye fred aye uh me yes unanimous um thanks a vote to declare the center school available for disposition um this does not and I repeat, it does not lay the groundwork for a path for use um, of the center school. It is simply a requirement before the select board can issue a request for proposals to lease the property. Um, so it is it is perfunctory uh, and and does not yeah. does not tie us to anything. And, and and so I just want the public to know that it's not like we've made any decisions. It's just uh, an administrative step that we have to clear. Yep. Um, yeah, I, I, I would uh, I would not, you know, that's not something a second, but that's my understanding too, is that this is, um, doesn't mean that we're required to do anything after this. Right, but we can't- It does do allow us to, to pursue some other options for what to do with the center school. Right, otherwise we have to sit on our hands. Yeah. So I would entertain a motion to, um, to declare the center school available for disposition. I will move to declare the center school available for disposition. Second. All those in favor, Fred? Aye. Joyce? Aye. Me, yes. Unanimous? Okay, now um, the only item under new business, oh no, one one another item. Um, we need to review and sign the warrant for the 22, 2022 annual town elections um, that are being held on Tuesday, June the 14th, flag day. For those of you who were interested in knowing, mm -hmm. um, so I would enter unless anybody wants to say no, we shouldn't have an election. I would entertain a motion to um, to that that we that we approve the warrant and and then go down to town offices, yeah, post haste and sign the the election warrant. Yeah, I'm happy to approve that we sign it, but I'm not going to be back in town till June eighth. So I hope both of you are in town soon enough to be able to sign that. Uh, Hannah, if they or Amy, if they are on the table 
first thing in the morning tomorrow, um, I, can, I can do that. Okay, so I would move that we um, approve the warrant for town election. Second. All those in favor, Joyce. Aye. Fred. Aye. Me, yes. Okay, um, the only other item on the agenda is to discuss the performance evaluation of our town administrator, Brian Domino. Um, just for the general public to be aware, um, discussions and negotiations have taken place between uh, me as the chair and Brian. Um, those uh, specifics um, need to be discussed in executive session. Uh, and then decisions around that executive session will be made available uh, after the decision when uh, meeting minutes uh, be become available. Um, so the public will know how it went, but but we need to go through executive session to um, to formalize and discuss the details around around the town administrator's contract or or, or no contract if that's if that's what's decided. Um, but um, we will be going into executive session, and we will not return to open meeting, uh, open public meeting post executive session, uh, if that is okay with my colleagues. That's my understanding. Yeah. Okay, great. Um, so I would entertain a vote to enter into executive session at which I believe Amy as the note taker will be there, but Hannah, we will bid you a wonderful night. Right. Um, I move we move to executive session. Do you want to uh, motion to end the public meeting first? Oh, okay. Um, do we do that? No, I think we. I think we make the motion. Oh, we'll session. Session. Executive session. And I think when we make the motion for executive session, we have to say, uh, and we will not be returning to public meeting. Right. Right. Okay. So who's making that motion? I made that motion. Second. Uh, second that. All those in favor, Fred. Yes. Uh, Joyce. Aye. Okay. Thank you very much. And Amy, you will uh, take the new executive session, correct? Hi, have a nice evening.